right, Mike, what's cooking? All right, thank you very much, Megan. We're connected through cooking here at the Good Day Extra Kitchen. Van Sykes from Bob Sykes Barbecue joins us in making a Southern favorite. Now, it's a Southern all over the country, but I'm, I'm claiming it. Oh, I'm we claiming are. it right here in the South. We right. can claim it, yes. And there's, some, there's a little bit of a history lesson before we get started, right? There really is. Pecan pie really never could come about until Cairo syrup was invented because all they had was a molasses pie, mm -hmm. and it was just too sweet, just didn't have the flavor. Then Cairo syrup comes out. Somewhere in the 1920s, some executive's wife made the first pecan pie in a shell with the Cairo. Okay. And by the 1940s, it was in every Southern cookbook you could find That's a pecan right. pie. So we opened in 1957 right. with our version of the pecan and everybody pie. Everybody has their own version, but we're they do. Right. They do. Yours. In this recipe today, you'll see a couple of different things that probably your grandmother didn't do, or okay. and everybody's grandmother's recipe is wonderful. Yes, but right. everybody can do a little bit to it, and yeah. um, so through the years. We've stuck with this one recipe that this lady brought to us years ago. So when we make this now, understand I'm, I made this for four pies. Okay. So you could make four pies out of what you're going to see on this recipe. Right. We're going to pour it up and make one, because usually we make 36 and the math got too complicated. Oh, wow. Okay, so gotcha. I turned it into four. So All right. I start, of course, with Cairo syrup, and it's about a quart of syrup for this yield. Okay. And then I've got my brown sugar in there. And I like light brown sugar. It has less molasses. Mm -hmm. Dark brown sugar has more molasses, about twice as much. Okay. That gives it a little too much crunchy to me. Some people mix dark and light to try to get a darker color than what I get. Okay. All right, so I've got all that in there. I put my flour in there. I blend this separate, folks, because it's just a, a complete forearm workout. And then I come over here and I use the second mixture. I've got my eggs right. right here. This would call for nine eggs. Nine eggs, okay. And like I say now, this is four pies, so we're going to whip these eggs. And then right here is something to be careful with, and, and vanilla extract, which goes in there, is powerful stuff. Okay. It, it's not a tablespoon. It is a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Just and a teaspoon. it will go that far. Well, because, four pies. Just, just a teaspoon. Yes. Okay. And you've got some vanilla in your light Cairo syrup. Okay. There's so actually in some there, yeah. vanilla in there. Okay. All right. Now, here's where, you know, my recipe is probably a little different than everyone else. All right. Instead of uh, whole milk or cream, we use evaporated. And why is that? The, fl uh, the flavor and the coloring, because I'm really after this color. It's almost for proprietary that. the way that looks, because right. a lot of them are real dark. Mm -hmm. And evaporated milk is another thing that allowed us to make lemon pies and, yeah. and, and pecan pies. And th those are just iconic food items. All right. So when I mix all that together, then I've got a little bit of butter. You can read the on the recipe how much. But, uh, All right, now I go ahead and then I'll combine these two because it's easier to whip than all that. All right, we'll whip so it. So when I get doing that, you whip, it, you whip it good and then you end up and with then this it, right here? And then it looks like this. All right, so we're there in the front there. All right, now we've got our oven on and it's at 300. We're not going to pre-bake this shell. We're not, okay. No, sir, we're going to put the nuts in. And got, we're a, gonna got a pecans in there. Spread them and, up, and they'll right. come up. What you do is you, when you pour your filling, see, these pecans are going to, uh, they're going to come up. They're going to come rise to the top a bit? To the top of the pie. Ah, okay. And this is what allows us to make, you know, 36, because we, we do what we call a batch. But you just keep bringing it up. And the reason I don't use whole pecans, Mike, is when you go to cut it, yeah. They just crack and fall off. Well, so I just use pecan pieces. Don't want that. All right. So how long is it in the oven again? It's going to be in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 325 minutes. degrees uncovered. All right. So meanwhile, you got a big event coming up, right? Yes. To help the homeless. Feed the yes. Homeless. Uh, Urban Purpose. We're having uh, at uh, Railroad Park what we call the longest table. Mm -hmm. And we invite everybody to come out. Uh, tickets are available at their website. And we're going to serve barbecue out on the grounds on a big spread and just have a great day and raise some money for a good organization. All right. Well, thank you so much. Van thank Sykes you, Mike. From Bob Sykes Barbecue. Con pie looks delicious. We'll be right back.